Rapid prototyping systems have been available since the late 1980s, when 3D Systems of Valencia, California introduced the first stereolithography machines. Today, five of these systems continue to account for over 90% of commercial use in the U.S. All are programmed by an STL file, created by converting initial data from a CAD solid model to two-dimensional cross-sections, or slices, that range in thickness from three thousandths to twenty thousandths of an inch. On the modeling machines, the RP part is created cross-section by cross-section, transforming the CAD solid model data to a three-dimensional object. This tie to the CAD data is a major advantage of rapid prototyping. From the first RP model to fully testable parts, every prototype generation is a faithful reproduction of the CAD design. RP build processes and materials vary widely. This leads to differences in maximum part size and build time, setup and post-processing requirements, and model toughness, accuracy, and detail. Each system offers its own unique mix of capabilities and may be best for a given set of prototyping objectives.